So the package finally came today. So this is the rear view camera. Let's see what we have to work with. So here's the camera with the built-in rear view camera. Uh, screen, I guess you would call it. And here's the camera. Both of these were wrapped separately, but it came in the same package. So here's a comparison between a stock one Got this one from the salvage yard and this one so this one is actually a lot smaller one idea was to take this apart and put this in this case so everything would look stock now i'm going to lose the being able to dip the headlights automatically and the garage door opener but that's fine i don't care about that um, so it does use the same connector for the windshield, so that is a good thing. Uh, we just got to see if everything is going to look right first. So I've made a, uh, a stencil. I'm going to cut this out, and then that way I can uh, put it on where I think we're going to put it and try to... See if it works. So here's the ex here's the plan. We're gonna try to put it right here, and I'm gonna cut a hole in this so it sticks out about halfway out of that, um, kind of like the Jeep Wranglers. So I think if I bend it, I can actually attach this whole thing. Not very good camera work. So here's the plan. Um, I think I can uh, put it right here so it comes out. We'll bend these brackets, screw it onto the back there, and then cut the hole in the cover, and it'll just stick out outside the cover. Um, so we're gonna Here's a little template, see what we can do. Here's my template, so I'm gonna bend it. Um, see what it looks like. So I think I've got a better idea. So we know that lip is about two and one, two, three, four, we're gonna call it five sixteenths. So we know that we want the camera about halfway out of here. So it needs to come out of four and two and five sixteenths. And then we can just mark where the um, where it's gonna be. So. Um, the holes. So it looks like the uh, diameter of the circle is three inches. Um, so I'm going to mark these at one and a one and three quarters. So they're they're uh, a little lower. And what that will allow me to do is have a little bit of play, so I can get it right in the center. Because if I did it right at the bottom. I won't have any play right centered because the way this the center of the camera is lined up on the bottom half of this bracket. So the question is, can I just screw that right here and just bend everything and then just bend that metal so it's this the correct distance so it comes out so halfway in the uh, camera is two and, I'm going to just say two and a quarter instead of five sixteenths. I'm going to just say two and a quarter. So it's right there at half the camera. Can I just bend that to make it work? So this little block of wood, I think is the right distance. And I'm just going to cut these brackets off so they're, uh, 
they're flush with the wood, and then I'll drill a hole through the bracket on both sides of the camera, through the wood, through here, and that way I can just adjust everything how I need it. Um, I think that'll work. So let's see what's up up here. So there's just a cover. And it just kind of splits in half. So let me take that off first. So I got two holes drilled. Now I'm just going to drill two holes right here. I'm going to line it up because obviously it's not totally um, straight, but we'll make it straight. So I've painted this little block just so it's not so obvious and uh, drilled holes. So now I'm going to drill some holes in the um, back of the uh, tire holder. So as you can see, I've got my two holes drilled there. So I've got everything mounted. Um, I had to make a pretty big hole for the wire just because of the connectors to go through there. Just kind of zip tied right now. Um, so I'll run the wires another day. Uh, it's looking all right and the measurement from here to here is is looking like it's right so with a little help from a dremel made the uh cover here i think i'm going to paint it black so first test fit it's not exactly centered so uh we might have to Draw out this holes a little more so it give me a little play um, in the wood and in the uh, steel, and that'll give me a little play back, forth, left, right, um, and I might put a, uh, a a few washers back there to uh, bring this out a little bit. So actually, the left and right's all right. It's just almost kind of flush. Uh, if I want it to come out a little bit, that's easy. I just put some uh, some uh, nuts uh, in between the uh, wood and the uh, metal and of the uh, tire holder, and it'll push everything out towards this way. But other than that, I, can, I like it. It's really good. So here's the idea. I don't like this post that connects the new rear view mirror to the windshield. I'd rather look, have this one and put the covers over it so it looks stock. This is one I got from a salvage yard. So we're going to cut it right here. And the idea is this diameter is 13 millimeters. This one is 19. We're going to cut this one and we're going to fit this one into this one and we'll secure it with a screw. And that's the idea. So here's my cutoff. Turn on all right. Just use the uh, cobalt cutter tool. I didn't use a Dremel because the, uh, the blade's about the same width. So made a nice cut. Now to do the other part. All right, so here's the issue. I thought this would be um, hollow. But it's got this spring that actually makes sense. It's need, the ball needs something to hold it stiff. So I'm gonna take advantage of that actually having a hole in it. So we're going to use a little anchor, go down in here. And then I'm going to cut it right here. I think that'll be fine. Um, and then we're going to use an anchor to essentially bring these two parts together. Okay, so the anchor didn't work perfectly. Um, by splitting it, it just didn't grab on. So what I did is I got a, uh, a washer and then I snuck it in through the... Uh, coil the spring so now I'll be able to connect these two and that'll take up some slack there 
and it should make a nice tight connection. All right, so I had a little failure. I successfully put a washer in here, and therefore I could connect these two. It worked great, and of course I wanted to see how tight I could get it, and I, the spring came unwelded from inside here. So I found, luckily both of these parts are aluminum. I've got some aluminum brazing rods, and we're gonna see if we can just weld this thing back together. Now the good thing about that is now this link is more like the factory link, so um, that will be better. So we're gonna see if this works. Okay, so another fail. Um, basically this part is plastic and the bushing that was around it that gave it the friction all melted. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole all the way through. And I'm using a, instead of a piece, piece of wire to anchor it down here and then attach it. So the wire will give it the ability, if I used a screw, you wouldn't have the ability to have articulation. So now I'm using another washer here. So we're gonna see if this works. Okay, so got a number six screw going through. I'm going to put a washer, then a grommet, then a washer, and then the nut. I've got a little bit of a Loctite on here. Yes, I know I'm gonna lose some articulation, but I think I'm gonna have enough. So everything's together. I've lost a lot of articulation, but I think there's gonna be enough articulation. And the nice thing about it is the sides will fit on. Now this is the reason why I've gone through this tire trouble. So it looks factory because it's got this cover that goes over it. So how to remove the rear view mirror. Separate the plastic right here down the middle. Um, and that's just a cover. So just take that with your hands, be as gentle and um, separate it. So once you remove that, it's really just wedged up there, so just take something soft and you can kind of just knock it. So you want to want knock it down. You don't want to be knocking towards the windshield. And I think it's gonna work. It looks out the rear view mirror fine. The articulation's not as bad. Again, the whole reason I wanted this is so it looks factory. So after it gets installed, it's gonna have these covers on it. That wire is gonna be on this wire is going to go up the, the, the covers so you won't see it so it'll look like a factory rear view mirror okay so now we're doing the wiring um, what I've done is I've saved the connection and cut the wires off the old uh, rear view mirror so I've uh, soldered with these little nice little pieces. Sorry, I forgot to film. But anyway, I've connected these two wires. Um, and then I'm going to put them in the correct spots on here. So I have my ground and my power. So all I have to do is just plug it in. Um, so what are we looking at? So I have black is down there on the bottom and then the middle one is the power so i just have to make sure i line them up put them in the correct spots and we're good to go so here's the final um got the wood block and the wire running underneath it's a half inch hole with a grommet the block of wood is about two and a quarter by one and a half um, depth is, let's see, mm. one, two, three, about twelve, about three quarters of an inch thick. So the power is getting from the green and brown wire. If you, when you take everything out of here, um, there's two green and brown wires 
and they go to the um, rear tail light and the trailer wiring harness. So it doesn't really matter which one you tap, tap into because they both become live when you put the uh, car in reverse. So in lieu of uh, soldering, I just crimped it. I just broke off one of the little um, connectors, like the O-ring connector. Not an O-ring, but the ring connector to go over a bolt. Um, I think that's going to work pretty good. Just going to cover it up with some electrical tape and start putting everything back. So the first block really wasn't long enough. When you tilt the camera down, um, it just wasn't long enough. So this one is... an inch and a half out, uh, two and a quarter, sorry, two and a quarter, trust me, and then height is uh, one and a quarter, I mean one and, one and a half. So here's the final fit. Actually, I actually have to tilt the camera down quite a bit. Um, so that block of wood, that's why I think maybe just use a two by four and use the depth of that. And it'll make the camera stick out a little bit. Um, but I like it, it looks, uh, it's not too intrusive. I like how it looks. Okay, so here's the reverse, put in reverse. Obviously you got a nice uh, backup camera and put it back in park and it goes away.